was a week before Christmas, and all through the town, decorations were up and temperatures down. And at Dairy Made Dairy in Frederick County, the conveyor belts flowed with a holiday bounty. That's right, we're talking eggnog. Dairy Made Dairy was founded in 1894. We are in the city of Frederick. We process gallons of milk that you find in the supermarket. We make creams, we make chocolate milks and strawberry milk for schools. We also make a great eggnog. Unlike the other items in their lineup, Dairy Maid's eggnog is only produced two months out of the year, November and December. So eggnog is a traditional holiday drink. The stores request it to be on their shelves usually the beginning of November. We see a big jump in sales the week of Thanksgiving, and as Christmas arrives closer, it ramps up bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it's like a light switch. The day after Christmas, the sales stop. During the 2017 season, Dairy Maid produced about 80,000 gallons of the rich nutmeggy beverage. And all of that eggnog began its journey on a farm. Some of it just 20 miles down the road at Maple Dell Farm in Woodbine. Here, farmer David Patrick and his family milk 170 cows on 93 acres. My great-grandfather purchased this farm probably in the 1890s. This has always been a family operation. I have two sons that work here on the farm and a grandson and a wife that helps here on the farm. And then, of course, there's the cows. We say sometimes they're almost like humans. They are so friendly and gentle. That's the pretty part about it. This afternoon, like all afternoons, the Patricks are getting ready for the second milking of the day. The first happened about 12 hours ago, at 3 a.m. It is really important that you milk on a regular schedule so that that udder is not pressured and cause problems by having too much milk at one time. Especially these days, with dairy cows producing more milk than ever. This particular cow right here is milking 150 pounds a day right now. Since 1944, the average amount of milk produced by a single dairy cow has increased fivefold, largely because of advances in breeding and feed technologies. I know when I started in the 40s, if we had a heifer that milked 40 pounds of milk when she first freshened, or had her first calf. We thought we had a good heifer. But if they don't milk 70 or 80 now, we think something's wrong. From the milking parlor, this abundance of farm fresh milk makes its way into a tanker bound for Dairy Maid. The tankers have about 5,500 gallons, and we get about 25 to 28 tankers a day when we're processing. No matter what the plant is producing that day, step one is always the same. We receive that milk and we actually separate it into skim milk and heavy cream. Next, the two components are mixed back together in the correct proportions. Then it's time to put the egg in this nog. The eggs we use are real eggs. They're actually pasteurized and then dried. We put sucrose, liquid sucrose in the tank. AKA sugar. There is some nutmeg in there and some other flavors. The resulting eggnog contains 6% fat twice the amount in whole milk. After we blend it, we pasteurize it and put it into a tank, and then we package it in several different packages. Finally, this holiday treat is ready to be enjoyed. It gets sold mostly in Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, but we do have product that goes as far north as Connecticut and into New England. So remember this winter when eggnog's at hand to say thanks to the farmers, their cows, and the land. And from Dairy Made Dairy with its holiday grog, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good nog. <laughs>